Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that, then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Well, what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for it, sue me. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Oh my god, there is some serious column happening with this guy. Hey, horse. Master. Wouldn't it be great if he got there and it was just him? Like he was doing it to himself? Up. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care, none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense. Even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. <laughs> oh no, he's one of those guys. Have you ever met those guys where they're like, What if this isn't real, man? What if everything's not real? In the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth? I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellas want. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Sure, sure. You psychopath, I guess. How far is this place? Surprise our horse is lasting this long. Hello. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. 
I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop that. It's taking me over. There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. Sure, you are rightfully insane. You know what? I'm with John on this. Oh, thank you. You can. Can I do? Oh, we're here. Right, How convenient. This is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Well, going up there, shooting everyone is in a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Oh boy, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Sneaking, trying to sneak someone who stinks in. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. I guess. Oh, this ought to be fun. Da 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 da. Da da. See you, bugger. Ow. My X button's getting stuck into the controller. Hey, horse. Relax. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Oi, oi, oi. I need a better controller. Sure, your wanted level will decrease. Let's try going this way. And it's gone. Let's go. Got a bounty on my head. Like a real outlaw. Ooh, that was weird. Let's get back to Seth. Is he still there? Why why would I go back? Through the trees. Oh, that is not a safe drop. Come on. Come on, you slow ass horse. Coming back here sounds like a bad idea. Oh fuck! <laughs> Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh Moses? You got a visitor? Oh my God, Seth! They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! <laughs> Luckily, I've got my lasso. Hey, Moses. Who the hell are you? Oh, God. Missed. Get closer. Sprint, 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 sprint. sprint. Come on. Hey, there we go. Son of a bitch! Let me go, I'm begging you! Here we go, Moses. Between us, just me and you. It ain't about the money. You son of a bitch, let me go! 
You enjoying there you go. yourself down there? Whatever he told you, it's a lie. We'll see about that. Come on. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Oh no, that I can tell. Hey, buddy boy. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy yeah. in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Hurry up, I need to go find my man. All right, so I'm worth $20. That your bounty shot in the top right corner indicates that you are a target of bounty hunters. So Boba Fett's gonna come get me. In we go. Well, hello. Hey. Here you go. Still needed to pay. That was weird. yourself with thanks Seth just help me when I come ask it. no problem mister oh Lord Seth is insane isn't he right I, I've got more fame oh and a question mark we can now go to um yeah, I will ride with you. Ride as a passenger. Let's let's go to the McFarland farm. Uh, McFarland's ranch. There we go. Eighteen dollars. Holy shit! You guys and your money. I'm just using it to quickly get out of here. Riding's far. Oh. Right. Let's go to McFarland's ranch and uh, help out with Bonnie. It's still raining though it's horrible also i never noticed that the little, little loading wheel is actually a six shooter that, and that is uh, loading and lo um, reloading and like firing so i can help bonnie and i can help um, west dickens dickens and i can help seth why would you not help the strapping young lady the burning oh the burning Oh, John. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. It's real come late. On. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Come on, horse. Come on, boy. I forget. Ooh, Bonnie's dad's missing this. This isn't good. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I've got a calm bad down. feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. It's it's normal. Usually when a family oh, yeah, member goes out. Sisters, Miss McFarland. I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. 
Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I can trust. Look, As I was saying, I, I, I for God's sake, guys, stop interrupting me. Like when 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 one of your family members goes out and and like comes back really late. Daddy, oh shit! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Anyway, uh, and when they go out late out. and. You can't help but having to have to call them. And their horses were dead too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your pa seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. So you, you usually like when my when rustlers, I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. Oh, oh stop talking. That's a good idea. <laughs> and you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're up. Oh my god, the barn's on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Look, what the hell is wrong with Bonnie? It's like one moment she was like, "Oh, oh, Miss, Mr. Uh, Mr. Master, look at you! You're, look, you're so great and all." No, and then immediately I fuck you, John. The doors are locked. We need to find another way in. This ain't working, Mr. Marston, Please see if you can get in through the lock. I, I, I don't know. Can I? Will you let me? Alright, there it is. Hey, that's not right. Alright. Ow! That hurt. Platforming in the Rockstar game. Do I go... Uh, go to the ledge near the barn wall. I'm just gonna walk. Shimmy. There ain't enough of us. Up you get, John. Up you get. Get into the barn. There we go, I'm in. Somebody get them horses out. Climb down to the ground floor. Slide down. Woo. There's the ladder. Down we go. And oh, why would you? Who put the pitchfork there? He got the door open. <coughs> All right, it's up to me. Yeah, get out of yours. Alright, in the butt. Oh dear. You can still jump that. I can. Let's go. I cannot. Come on. Stupid horse. Honestly, what dangers are we in, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. John Marston, uh, best horse rider, farmer man. Here we go. I put my leg out like a cool guy.
Oh yeah. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, ho hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. That'll end well. I thought, I thought we, we were here to get a wagon. Where's your dad now? Am I just gonna sleep here? Oh. Hey, look, I am a good guy. I, I, I can't climb hay? There we go, I can climb hay. Yeah! Alright, so now we still have the Marshall and Seth 